Good morning, America. Steve Ison here. It's Friday morning, May 11th, in the beautiful state of South Carolina, Lexington County. We're here in the Casey Metro area next to the airport. Some people call it the Columbia Airport, but we call it the Casey Metro area, West Columbia, Casey. So anytime you're coming through South Carolina, don't hesitate to come by at 7 a.m. breakfast every Friday morning. This is a nonpartisan group, and we talk about a number of topics. Uh, we do public service things, anything that the community has, that uh, fundraisers, etc., any announcements. But a lot of times we do political uh, events and activities. And this morning we have Nicole Quinn with us. She's going to talk to us about some of the activist concerns she has. And Nicole, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you. Glad to be here. Okay. Until next week, Steve Isom signing off. Uh, Nicole Quinn is going to come up and, and, and give us a presentation. And Nicole is, has always had a little trouble with, it, with shyness, but she helps, she helps overcome that, that, that uh, handicap. And I think she'll demonstrate that today. So welcome to Nicole Quinn. Let's give her a round of applause. I'm still working on coming out of my shell. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm having a good morning. Um, I'm excited about our brand new website. It's called Brush Fires for Liberty. Uh, we order, we're ordering cars. We don't have them in yet, so we put together a little um, make two business cards for now. I'll bring some real ones when we have them. Um, it's called BrushFiresForLiberty.com, and we have uh, national issues, statewide issues, and local issues. Um, right now we've been focusing mainly on South Carolina and especially the Midlands area. Um, I do have uh, county specific uh, links as well that we're going to be filling in um, as we expand further and further. Uh, we have lots of original articles. Uh, we have guest authors. Uh, we have Lee Canaday. We have Corey Norris. We have Talbert Black, Jeff Maddox. Um, and we're always looking for um, people to come in and submit new articles. We have a corresponding Facebook page where we're always putting news updates. Um, so if you want to visit us on uh, Facebook as well. <clears throat> we also have recommended reading lists, um, business networks, and some other things we're going to be constantly updating and expanding. Um, news, events, legislative updates. And our goal is to be a one-stop shopping source for liberty-related activities. Um, so you can go to our website and constantly find you know, updates on what's going on in the liberty movement, what's going on in politics. Um, we also have philosophical uh, articles as well to get people thinking. And the authors that we have are not going to necessarily agree on everything, which is good because we want to encourage debate and people to think outside the box, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so we would love for you to spread the word, like us on Facebook, visit our website. If you have updates or <clears throat> things that you would like to submit, my email address is on the handouts. And just email me anytime and uh, we'd love to hear from you and does anybody have any questions? <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, are you looking for contributing writers? Because I am a journal, I, I'm, I have 20 years of journalism. Yes, as long as it's a liberty-related topic, we're always looking for new, uh, new articles. Or well, my uh, email address is on there. Just send me what you got, and we'll take a look at it. And if it's uh, meets our focus, then we'll be glad to post it. Nicole, yes, sir. You, you take, I know he's interested probably in advertising insurance, but y'all take paid advertisements. Yes, um, we will. We will be um, taking. Advertising. Um, our numbers for being brand new are looking really good. Um, we're getting hundreds of hits on our articles, and um, I and we really. Ju I just started marketing it this past week. So, yes, how sir. are you distributing this publication? How do we get one? Um, it's all on, through the website and Facebook. Oh, so it's, all yeah. on, on the it's all it's all on the website. All right. Um, so, so you do have a great uh, sheet of things. But I also I'm also a writer too. Sure. Uh, insurance. And, uh, insurance. 
and the height of unpatrioticness. If people go over there, they get their they, they get their faces burned, they get their they lose an arm and they only and they're thanked with only fifty percent they should be getting in my opinion they should be getting double what they you know, I mean if, if you've been armed, if, if you've been I'm sorry. Well if you, if you're in that category you you, you will get disability. Right? Yeah, but but I mean well Okay, maybe I'm using a little hyperbole here, but I think it's outrageous that you serve 20, 25, 30 years in the military and you only get 50%. That to me is an insult to liberty because these people fight for our liberty. They, they fight so people can criticize the fact that they put on that uniform and, 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 they, and fight for our freedoms to have freedom of speech. You know, um, so I wanted to write an article on that because my, my my grandfather fought was was at Pearl Harbor, survived Pearl Harbor in World War II. Mm -hmm. My my uncles and my father and my eldest brother uh, were in the Air Force. And in fact, my family goes as far back to uh, we have an ancestor who actually, and I have the documentation, who crossed the Delaware with Washington. Wow. Um, so we we go way back and. And I think that is an insult to the people who fight for our liberty to only give them half of what they deserve. And that really ticks me off. I well, never just, that. Well, just so you know the exact figures, because I, I am retired after 20. If you retire at 20, you get 50% of your base pay. And every year after 20, you get 2.5% up to 30 years where you retire at 75 percent. So that, that's, that's the way it works. Well, like it's I, still less. They should be getting 100 yeah, percent. Those, are the, those are the exact uh, figures. Uh, but, 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 they should but, but, go on with the same salary they have. Yeah, they should go on with the same salary they have because Congress is, uh, a congressman or senator can serve one year and they got a lifetime of, pay, uh, of benefits. Uh, or, or, or patients. So and that, inequality under the law is and, and that's the inequality. And I'm sorry, it's my, my, my father and my uncles and my grandfather, they did a heck of a lot more uh, when they went to Vietnam, Korea, World War II than some congressman, regardless of his political affiliation, does in Washington, D.C. Sitting in their in their office, 
okay, and shaking hands, um, and, and get it, and, and working five and a half, six months out of the year. I'm sorry. That really makes me angry, and that, I think I think articles like that should be written. Well, it sounds like you have plenty of uh, ideas for an article, so write it up. Anybody else have any more questions? questions? Okay, thanks for coming. Right, thank you. Thank you.